I'm just gonna say I'm super dumb, okay? I've been planning to make this video. I have to stay up later than my dad and my, my brother and stuff. And I'm laying in my bed listening to music. And I fell asleep, and now it's 5.19 and I just got out of bed. And I'm gonna make this video. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, I'm gonna be 100% um, honest with you. For this video, which I know this video is different already, I'm reading this off of a Google Doc because when I'm trying to tell a story off of the top of my head, I can, me I can miss some of the important details. So probably about a week and a half ago, I had a normal day of school, or so I thought. I got up at 6.30 and I brushed my teeth and got dressed. Then my dad drove my brother and I to school. And when I got to school, we either have a choice to eat breakfast or go to the gym and sit on the bleachers until the bell rings. I usually go to the bleachers and we just sit there and hang out and um, talk about our class that we have that day. So basically, I have gym every other day. One day I will, I will have science for my second class period, but the next I will have gym instead. We are all excited to have gym that day. Because let's be honest, who doesn't like gym? So let me fast forward a couple of periods, and then we have gym. Like this is probably the only reason why I enjoy school. It's like taking a vacation to hit someone in the face with a dodgeball repeatedly for 45 minutes straight and t and let me tell you, it never gets old. But I'm here with my buds and we got picked on to the same team. Oh, by the way, I don't think I told you this, but the game we were playing was called European Handball. I don't know if you played it, but it's pretty fun. We have a dodgeball and we have to pass it to our teammates and try to score in a net, but we cannot kick it. And just so you know, these soccer nets are the crappy ones that schools get for a tiny gym, so probably like four foot tall, maybe like six feet wide. So anyways, we got picked onto the same team, at least my friends and I, we were all really happy. So we get to about a fourth of the way through the gym class when this girl from the other team just starts acting crazy and just to be clear the names that I'm going to be saying are not their real names so this girl named I don't know uh, what would it be a, a random girl's name for this conversation uh, I'll just say Jacob so Jacob is probably about like 300 pounds I'm not even lying about that She's like shoving me all around and I'm getting really annoyed at this point because it's not like one of my friends are doing it or I can shove them back. Like if I tried to shove Jacob, she'd probably sue me for sexual harassment. She's like one of those type of people. So I'm just sitting there thinking, what am I supposed to do? So I just kept playing, trying to ignore it. Well, later that gym class, our goalie kept missing the ball. So we got scored on like five times in a row and Every time we got the ball back, the like um, the other team would have to throw it to our goalie, and the goalie gets to throw the ball up to us. But every single time he had thrown it to us, he actually just thrown it to the other goalie. So then they would just score us again, because their goalie would just pass it up to their front line. So when it happened like the fifth or sixth time in a row, I was pissed, and I said to him. I learned how to throw the ball, and he, which he replied with, I'm throwing it right to you. Now, I know what I said next was wrong, but let me just say first, the goalie was one of my friends that I was talking about in the beginning, and we call each other names all the time. So, I just replied with, throw it to the offense, retard, and damn. I could have picked a better words, like, now that I'm reading it over, but, like, that's what I said. And probably not the best, but like I'm saying, he was my best friend, and I asked him afterwards if he felt that, like, if he was mad at me or, like, sad that I called him a name, and I said I'd stop, like, I would say it again, and he said it's alright, and then he called me a retard, so, I mean, I guess it's even. 
So, like I said, the goalie didn't really mind this, but get this. A different girl on the other team by the name of... Crap, no, no, I think of another girl's name. You know what, she kind of reminds me of a Karen. Yeah, let's go with Karen. Karen started screaming at me. She was rambling on how I should never call anyone retard and said that I better never hear you say it again. And keep in mind, this is a student, not a teacher, telling me this. So me being me and angry at the time had said, what are you going to do about it, stupid? And I know, yes, that I've... <laughs> I probably have to, I didn't probably have to insult her, like when I answered back, but she was just making me so mad, and I just told her straight up, and I'm not joking, she looked me right dead in the face and in the eyes, and said, I'm gonna slap you in the face, <laughs> and I'm gonna say right now, Karen was short, but she was probably about like 200 pounds. But anyways, she starts running at me, well not even running actually, like I said, she's like 200 pounds and like, maybe like 4'2", waddling towards me and raises up her hand like she's about to hit me. So I did what any reasonable person would have done and I stuck up my arm to block it and it accidentally hit her right in the chest. But she was so like, um better word chubby that my arm slid up and hit her in the neck and she just stopped and stared at me then get this I got sent to the locker room to cool down which is bullcrap because she ran at me but yeah that's pretty much the story of how I almost got slapped in the face during gym if you enjoyed the video please smash that button and sub that like button and subscribe because that would be pretty dope too Leave a comment saying, like if you've watched the video this far, leave a comment saying if you like this story time and would like me to do another one. Also, I want to see how many people watch the end of my um, video, so if you're still watching, type I love shoelaces and I promise I'll like your comment. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye.